I don't know why God is leading me. I come by the blood of Jesus. I come by the blood of Jesus. I come by the blood. That speaks mercy. I come by the blood. That speaks grace. We come by the blood. 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 And with a clear land of cosmic brother. delight to be back with you again in studio this morning. My name is Nalongu Rechuku. Thank you so much for tuning in. You are watching The Strange Acts of God. This is the NSBBD testimony show where I get the singular honor to sit down with the medical experts just to go over the wonders of God that we got a chance to see and to hear in the course of the week on NSPPD. And for that person tuning in for the very, very first time and wondering what exactly is NSPPD? Hmm, where have you been? NSPPD is the new season's prophetic prayers and declarations brought to you by Streams of Joy International, the home of what God cannot do does not exist. Catch up with us weekdays, 7 a.m. Nigerian time, across all of our social media handles as we continue to revolutionize our world through the power of prayer. Hmm. Last week, Saturday, last week, Saturday was the NSPPD America Prayer Conference. Before I go any much further, can I just take a minute to say a big thank you to the fireful, worded, and excellent Pastor Bethel Osweke that stood in for me last week, Saturday, while I was away at Houston. So today on The Strange Acts of God, we will be talking about all things NSPPD America Prayer Conference. And joining me in studio to do so is none other than the very excellent, highly sought after Pastor Dr. Chika Ibeneme, a consultant, senior consultant, pediatric nephrologist, back with us on the strange acts of God after running away oh for a very, very long time. We're so oh happy God. to have you, Ma. Welcome you so back to the strange acts of God. Thank you so much, God. Pastor Nalong. We are so honored to have you join us, Thank Ma. you so much. It's my pleasure to be here today okay. with you. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you so much, Ma. Mm. Wow, you're fresh from Houston. We both are. <laughs> yes, we are. So what how was honor. your um, NSPPD prayer conference experience? Wow, wow. Just as I'm shouting wow, wow now, mm -hmm. it was actually a wow experience. Mm -hmm. I actually lack the right words to use mm. to describe what I saw in Houston, mm -hmm. what happened in Houston, what my eyes have never seen mm. in my entire life, mm -hmm. I saw in Houston. Wow. You know, we've been talking about miracles. It's not that we have not been seeing miracles, mm. but coming to stay under such an atmosphere where you have multitude mm, gather mm. under one roof mm. and people are gathering with so much passion uh -huh. so much hunger uh -huh. to pray yes they did not gather because of a music concert. No, 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 no. Not, not a political because, rally. Not a political rally. Not uh -huh. even soccer that people no, like. No, 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 no. Not but a because game. there was a call for prayer. Hey. And you see people struggling to enter the hall. Uh. A program that was about was to start by 2 p.m. by 6 a.m. in the morning. Yes, yes. People were already gathered uh -huh. and waiting for the door to be opened. Hmm. Pushing Travel people from travel countries, from countries, from countries, from countries, countries, different states mm -hmm, in America mm -hmm. and even outside mm -hmm. America. A lot of them came with their boxes with from their, the airport straight, straight to the venue. To the venue. Mm. I've never seen such a thing before. Wow. The crowd was overwhelming. The multitude, you know, 
And it made me to realize and mm -hmm. appreciate the Bible more. Mm -hmm. When the Bible began to talk about how the multitude were following, ah, Jesus, following Jesus, you know, in their numbers, mm, 5,000, 7,000. 7, okay, mm -hmm. even if you say plus women and children, uh -huh, maybe uh -huh. 10 to 15,000. Right, right. What we are seeing now, oh what we God. saw in Houston, mm. is more than what the Bible even mm, recorded. Mm, mm, so mm. for me, that was the first thing mm. that was wow. We, it was wow, you know, mm. it was a wow experience to me. Mm. And, uh, mm. and before even the miracles began to happen, uh -huh. as I looked at the crowd and yes. saw the way they were really, you know, with so much expectation right. of what hunger. was to happen, so mm. much hunger. Mm. So for me, I'm really grateful that I was part of yes, what happened yes, in Houston. Yes, yes, I was yes. live in Houston, mm. and I'm grateful to our papa uh -huh. for making me a part of what yes, happened in Houston. Yes, absolutely. It was absolutely. really a wow experience. Absolutely. And is it about the miracles? Ha. Is it about the miracle? Mm. The Bible will talk about the lame walking, mm -hmm. the blind mm -hmm. seeing. Mm -hmm. Maybe you're just one blind man, two blind men, two men, you know, lepros right, right, right. men that were healed. But this one, you're seeing miracles in their numbers. Right. You're seeing blind eyes opening in their numbers. Mm. Deaf ears popping open in their numbers. Right. Seeing people getting out of wheelchairs in hey, their numbers. Glory to Honestly, God. Honestly, I've glory not seen God. that kind of thing before glory in my life. Glory to God. So, glory to God. Ah, uh, NSPPD America Conference wow. is such that I will not forget in a hurry. There's no recovery. There is no, There's I no recovery. I cannot even recover from mm. what I glory saw. To I glory to God. Glory to God. For me, I think one of my highlights was. You know, uh, many times, and I've said this again and again, many times we get to hear testimonies on NSPPD and we're blown away. Yes. But you and I had the opportunity to make a call for testimonies. testimonies. And we got to interview hundreds of people hundreds came of people. out yes. to, to share their testimonies yes. with us. And it was just so profound for me because these were profound, profound Te testimonies. testimonies. We couldn't air them up. We couldn't we, even we couldn't, bring everybody we, on the stage. We couldn't. We couldn't. We couldn't the so cameras many. couldn't capture Ca them. Couldn't. Such profound, tangible testimonies. testimonies. And it, it just seems to me like there's no... There's no end to There's what no God end. is doing So here. God keeps multiplying no these end. testimonies, There's no you know, end. from city to city. Yes. When it yes. happened in America, you know, that was last year. Uh -huh. You know, people, some people were like, did, was yes. he real? Skeptics were saying Except, so Yeah, many did things. it really happen, right. this and that? Right. And then in UK, ah. God multiplied the testimony. And coming oh my again, God. we are seeing, oh my God, God is not even God, in a hurry we, to We've not stop. even scratched the surface. You know, these testimony shows that we do, and even the testimonies that are aired on NSP, we've not even scratched the surface of what of God what is God doing. Is it's doing. just a little fraction that we get to we'll show. Get to. You know, and so it's just fascinating to me how God is able to, you know, have an intimate personal connection with just about with everybody that is seated in that hall. It's just it's phenomenal. It's amazing. It's, it's amazing. Really amazing. It's amazing. It's really and amazing. of course, wow. as always, thank you to the wonderful viewers of the Strange Acts of God that we got to see on Saturday. Thank you for the love. Thank you for the feedback. Thank you for the the hugs. It was such a joy to get to see you all. May God bless you all exceedingly. Now, getting into our show, can we just take a recap and see the NSPPD America Prayer Conference in pictures? The sound of your amen, I announce, move to the other side. Let your amen turn. Let your amen turn. on heavy medication for, for anxiety. She is completely free of medication. This is my green card. 10 years. 10 years permanent residence approved. I said, how? How? On this fire, on fire burnt you out. Fire will burn you out again. NSVBD is here, Mio. You see the way they are shouting, there's a miracle here, there's a miracle here, there's a miracle. As your amen will thunder, as your amen will thunder, oh. in September, there will be many miracles in every area of your life. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it right now. Receive it. Hey, 
Amen. 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 Wow. wow. Powerful. Wow. Powerful. Wow. Oh my goodness. Wow. Wow, let's jump right into our testimonies. We have a loaded, loaded show. Our first testimony is from our sister testifying on behalf of her daughter, and she testifies of a Graves disease healing. And our second testimony is from our sister as well, testifying of laryngeal paralysis healing. Click on the share button if you are yet to. Also, let us know where you're streaming in from. We'd like to know what country you're viewing from. We'll be right back right after these testimonies. My daughter came down with a disease they call grave disease. I didn't understand it. So she went to the doctor. Her eyes came up so big that you could see the tissues in the back of her eye. So my cousin brought me this link. She said, love, follow this link. I said, I've been on too many links. So I followed the link. The first two, they were high. So she kept praying. We kept praying. I joined this platform in October, I mean, August of 2021. So by October, my daughter had the surgery. Two weeks later, the eyes started coming back up again. So we got on the link, we started praying. And then pastor said, there's a lady somewhere, your eyes coming up. They did the surgery, but the eye, went back now you're coming out again say in 24 hours that i will go back it will never come back to my surprise two days later my daughter came down said to go to the bathroom and she i said you slept but she said yeah i said go to the bathroom and see she said mama i have gone back since october november of 2021 to today the eye never came back outside again praise the lord living testimony of God, a walking in the I was robbed November 26, 2001 in my store, and I was shot in my neck with a gun. After I went to the rush to the hospital, I was in coma for seven days, and I'm breathing on my own. And I entered death. I see death in the hospital when I open my eyes. The doctor came to me two days. They said, Mistress Jade, the ball like damage all your vocal cord and your spound and our things in your neck. You cannot talk, eat, breathe, or do anything on your own anymore. And I told them, give me the pen. And they gave it to me. And I wrote on it and I said, I have a living God. I would eat. I would do everything on my own. So I started and I told them, who's responsible for eating? I need to eat. And they take me, they said, well, you cannot eat. I said, yes, I can eat. Take me there. And they took me and I started eating on my own. Then I was still with that fit with God. Then my friend, they call her Hawa, she sent me Pastor Jerry Link. He said, he's powerful. God using him, listening to him. And I, and I listened to him at night. And I said, yes, this is what I want in my life. I got the real person that God sent to me. And after that, I left the hospital. I was not talking on my own. And I went home. And later, Pastor Jared, in February 13, 2002, he said, a lady was robbed with her 12 years old daughter. In front of her, I was with my 12 years old daughter when I got shot. And Pastor Jerry said, she's speaking on a speaking device. I reverse it. She would talk. She would talk. After two days, I went to the hospital and I told the doctor, I said, take up the speaking device. I don't need it anymore. I can't talk. I can't talk. Take it out. Take it out. And they said, you cannot talk. When we take it out, you will never breathe on your own anymore. And I said, take it out. They took me in the room. They showed me all, every damage that was in my neck. But I was still working with the fate and the fate of, of joys, joys, spring of joys, and packs to cherish. I'm so grateful for that. And he said, I said, take it out. He said, you're going to stop breathing. Yes, take it out. Take it out. He said, okay, the hospital is downstairs. So if you stop breathing, we can take you downstairs and we can put the trick back on you. I said, take it out. 
and they took out my trick and I said, thank you, Jesus. He said, what? You just talked. I said, yes, I did it. I talked, I talked, I talked. Oh, Chai, what Hallelujah. a God. What a God. What a God and Hi. what a testimony. What a testimony. Hey, shot in the neck, left for dead, in a coma for a week. In front of her little 12-year-old daughter. daughter. Wow. And you know, those people didn't expect her to walk out of that alive. No, 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 no. But God Why are you shooting somebody on the, the neck? neck? What do you expect? There's no chance of survival. It's, it's killing. They, they, they sought to kill her. Yes, they did. But God, not, you know, he didn't just spare her life. But he also restored, restored what was what, lost. Exactly. My goodness. Laryngeal paralysis. paralysis. Tell me about this. Okay. Basically, you know, the larynx... Okay, just as you can see um, on the picture, right? The, yeah, the larynx is what connects um, the there's what we call the nasal uh, pharynx. Okay, from your nose uh -huh. then to the nasal pharynx into the larynx. Then it's that's how air moves uh -huh. when somebody uh -huh. is breathing. Then from the larynx down into the trachea. Mm. But just at the larynx, you have. Um, to what I will call a uh, muzzle, mm -hmm. you know, strands of muzzle mm. that are on both sides of the larynx mm -hmm. that you call the vocal cords. Mm. So when there is laryngeal paralysis or mm. vocal cord paralysis, what you're actually talking about is that the nerve supplying the vocal cords mm -hmm. has been damaged. Right. So at the point that she was shot, mm. so the nerves were affected. Hmm. And that's what we call the recurrent laryngeal nerves. Hmm. So they were affected and the vocal cords were paralyzed. Right. If the vocal cords are paralyzed, uh -huh. you're not able to talk. Right. Depending on the extent of the paralysis. Sometimes uh -huh. it can be one-sided paralysis because they are two on both sides. Right. Sometimes it can be bilateral paralysis, that two of them becoming paralyzed. Wow. So what the vocal cords essentially does is that that's what vibrates to produce sound when you're hmm. talking. So when somebody is talking, the vocal cords come together hmm. at the middle. If you can see, hmm. you can hmm. see the right, vocal right, cords right, right. when they are coming together, right, right. you can see when they are open. Right. So they come together and they, pro they vibrate and produce sound. Right. Yes. So when you are not talking, they are relaxed. Okay. Yes. And when they are relaxed, air can easily pass through. Right. So you are breathing without difficulty. Wow. But in case they are paralyzed and they see themselves at the center and they remain there at the hey. middle, you see they are blocking the airway. Right. So you are having difficulty with breathing. Right, right, now, right. Now, if they are paralyzed and two of them are wide apart, uh -huh. it means that they can't close. Right. So the larynx is just open. Hey. So if you're going to eat and swallow, hey. you cannot control what happens as you're swallowing. In fact, right. as you're eating, food can just go straight into the larynx and into the lungs. Oh and the person goodness. aspirates the food. Wow. So that is the problem of giving them food. They may attempt to swallow good, but you cannot control where the food is going right, into. Right, because right. food is either following the esophagus into the stomach, which is a right thing, uh -huh. or it can enter through the larynx into the lung, wow. and the person gets aspirated wow. and may suffocate. Wow. So you're having problem with eating, you're having problem with uh, breathing, breathing uh -huh. and you're having problem speaking. with speaking. My goodness. So that is it. So what God did here. Hey. <laughs> oh my God. Hey. What God did here. Now you know, I know know that with other forms of paralysis in the body, you know, we hear things of um, physiotherapy. Yes. So is there any kind of, what do you do to remedy, you know, this type of paralysis, this, paralysis in the vocal cord? It depends on the extent of the damage. That's, right. It depends on the extent of damage because if it is just single paralysis, uh -huh. maybe you can say, okay, that's one-sided. They can actually do um, maybe voice therapy. Hmm. That's what they call voice therapy hmm. that's... ENT surgeons, mm. you know, do the mm. ear, nose, and throat mm. uh, specialists mm. who do, they can do voice therapy. Mm. Sometimes they do it and it doesn't even work because this is something you can hey. do over months. My and goodness. as you're doing it, you're giving time for the vocal cords to, 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 right, to, to, right, to heal. Right, right. To heal. And usually it may take like 
one year right. before it can and heal. And the vocal, the therapy, the voice therapy would help just with speaking. With speaking. Not with breathing not, and eating. Not with breathing. Hey. But if you listen to the testimony, I'm sure you heard when she said there was something that was put on her to help her breathe. Right, right, and right. And as a doctor, I want to believe that even though she did not call the name, I think it's tracheostomy. Uh -huh. Because if you're having a problem, they can open from a stomach. Oh. They can open the neck and get in a tube. Hey. Tracheostomy tube. Through which you can breathe. So, and that was what happened when she went back and she was like, remove this thing, I can talk, I can breathe, mm -hmm. because a word has already right. come for right. her. Right. And the right. precision of the hey. word. Did you hear the, the word? It shot the in the neck in front, in of, front your of your 12 year old daughter. What, what oh kind of precision goodness. is that? Hey. So, with that, hey. you're sure that this word is for you. Oh my God, you know, I love the faith of NSPPDians. And I'm the faith she you. displayed was just similar to the faith we saw, you know, with just congregants yes. at the, you know, retreat at ground. The retreat ground. We, we saw them just run with the run word. Pastor said, word. do what you've never done before. And they began they, to do. They just began People to People on wheelchairs yes, began, began to, to stand up. To stand up. Yes. And when they stood, right, surprisingly, right, right. they God saw them. they yes. could. Mm, mm, mm. So pa the word went forth and pastor said, you know, such a precise Size word. word. Yeah. And immediately she went to the hospital. She, she said, take it, off. take it off. Take, take it, it off. off. I've I received can, my healing. They say, you will not be able to breathe if we take it off. Uh -huh. Well, we can take you down. The hospital is down. So we can easily rush you uh -huh. if you start having breathing difficulty. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. She said, take, take it, it off. off. And they took it off. Glory. And the lady, she said, thank you, Glory. Jesus. I said, oh, you can talk. Hey. And she did not have any hey. breathing difficulty. My God. So this was like an instant Glory. healing. Glory. Glory. Wow. Glory. Wow. Voice restored. Wow. Eating ability restored. Breathing restored. Because if this does not happen, uh -huh. the next thing is surgery. Right. And even sometimes they might want to do this, what they call lateralization of the vocal cords. Mm. That is, as when the vocal cords are paralyzed and they are together, uh -huh. you know, at the center. Right. So you may want to separate them mm. and bring, yes, so that you can oppose them to the two sides, you know, of the larynx, one on this side, one on that side, so as to give space mm. for um, air to go in so My that the God. person doesn't have any breathing difficulty. But sometimes when you finish doing it, even the speech is not restored. Hey. So it is 50-50. My God. ENT surgeons, Thank specialists you, will tell you that this is just 50-50. It may work, it, it may, may get complicated, work. it may even worsen right. the situation. Right, Glory so, to God. This is just God. Glory to God. You can't talk, you can't breathe, hey. you can't eat. Hey. But right there and hey. there. Hey! Wow. Thank you, Jesus. Kai. And of course, we saw the Graves disease yes. healing. Wow. On behalf of our daughter, just quickly tell me, you know, about Graves disease. Okay, Graves disease um, is actually an autoimmune disorder. Right. Yes, it's actually an autoimmune disorder that affects the thyroid gland. Right. So autoimmune, I mean, is that your body is producing what is fighting your glands. Wow. Yeah. Okay. So, yes, that's autoimmune. So, you see, the body fights its own thyroid tissue. Mm. So, and when it begins to fight the thyroid tissue, what happens is that there is excessive production of thyroid hormones. Right. So, what we call hyperthyroidism. Right. So, right. it's produced and it has a lot of symptoms. But here, for this, okay, when you have a picture, eyes. Oh, you're wow. seeing bulging eyes. Right, right, so, right. So, what the thyroid hormones do in the body is that they are responsible for metabolism. Uh -huh. So, they are uh, responsible for metabolism. So if there is hyperthyroidism, so you get a lot of symptoms right. like sweating, weight loss, diarrhea, then it can affect the eyes. How does it affect the eyes? Exactly. The same tissue being affected, the thyroid gland, uh -huh. whatever is attacking it can also attack the tissues and the muscles behind the eyeballs. Right. So when they begin to attack them, so they can swell up and begin to push the oh, eyeballs right. out. So it's so the swelling is, that's so causing the, swelling. the eyes yes, to bulge, to bulge out. out. To wow. bulge out. So most time when the eyes begin to bulge, you need to do something because you cannot wow. allow the eye to continue to bulge out. If it continues to bulge at a point, the person may not be able to blink and close the eye. Wow. And the patient can have 
corneal observation wow. that can even lead to blindness. So this surgery was not just for cosmetic purposes. No, it was essential. It was essential. To to, yes, it was essential because if you don't do it, right. the eyes can be affected. Right. Vision can be affected. Wow. So wow. I believe they did the surgery so that they can maybe remove some of those excess tissues right. and the then back push, the back, and push, yes, back. push back the eye. Hmm. But you see, after doing it, two, two weeks, weeks after, after, the eyes protruded again. What would that mean? She isn't, it, mean, it means the that grace she was, the grace is still there. was still there, mm -hmm. yes. Was still attacking the muscles mm -hmm. and they were mm -hmm. still swelling mm -hmm. and pushing out mm -hmm. the eyes. Mm -hmm. Because it does not have any cure. Mm -hmm. My God. Autoimmune disease, they don't hey. have any cure. There is no drug you are going to say, I'm going to give this drug so that there will be cure. Hey. What you just do is to control the excess hormones that are being produced. And what would giving, that mean for someone's eyes that are bulging? Does that mean reoccurrent surgeries as well to keep putting it back? Well, I'm not an ophthalmologist, but you right. see, within two weeks. So, does hey. it mean you're going to be subjecting this person oh to surgery God. every two weeks? Ah. Surgery that was just done two right. weeks, then it's reoccurred again hey. until the word came. Until the word came, you know. And Papa said in 24 in hours. 24 in 24 hours. 24 hours. The precision of the word hey. is what is amazing again hey. in this testimony. You did a surgery, it reoccurred after two weeks. My God. Oh my God. My God. In 24 hours. Yes. Let me go back. Yes, yes, and yes, it yes, just yes. Happened. And just like that, you know, beyond the eyes going back and not coming back, you know, bulging back out, this is indication that she has also been healed from grave disease. She said that mm -hmm. this thing happened 2021. 2021. Mm -hmm. And this is 2023. Yes. That the eyes have right. remained normal. Wow. Do you need any other wow. what do you, to tell you that this She's been lady healed has well. been healed of grave disease? Glory to God. I God mean, didn't just restore her eyes back to normal, but he, he healed, healed her the completely. totality of whatever. Hey, my God. He went to the roots. Went to and, the roots. You know, Glory to roots. God. What? I'm excited really at this testimony. Yes, it's I'm really, excited. really, really exciting. Yes. Really exciting testimonies. Glory God to God. Awesome. Instant healings as Instant well. Healing. Hey. Instant healing. Instant healing. How do you just, within 24 hours, mm. your eyes that were mm. bulging, mm. you sleep hey. and you wake up. My God. And your mother is saying, you slept where you said yes. Right. Go to the bedroom and check your eyes. You went to the bedroom and you start shouting. My God. My eyes are normal. You know? Hey. Ah. What God profound awesome. testimonies. God what awesome. profound testimonies. What a God cannot, cannot do. do. Does not, Does not, does exist. not exist. Wow. Phenomenal testimonies those were. We have another testimony of a brain-dead, unresponsive child being restored. Glory to God. And then we have another testimony from Sister Sharon. Six years barrenness broken, birth complications reversed. Click on the share button if you're yet to. We'll be right back. This young man, he's been in coma August the 4th. And the doctor told the mother, take him home. That there is nothing we can do. He's complete. They told her he's complete brain dead. He will not be able to recuperate. And the mom said he has never done this before. He has opened his eyes. Hey. And he began to, he's moving his hands. Hey. She put her finger, she put hey. her finger, and he held hey. her finger tight. He had, hey. No, no, no. Oh. You did it. Jesus. 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 North Carolina Wake Forest, I decided to come here to testify for what God has done in my life and the life of my daughter. I've been married for eight years, and in the eight years, I was looking for a child. And in my seven years of marriage, pregnancy came. But when pregnancy came, my water broke at 20 weeks. When it broke at 20 weeks, I cried. I said, God, what am I going to do? This is the only child I've been asking God for, for the past seven years of my marriage. Then my water broke. I went to the hospital. The doctor checked. The whole doctors came and, and checked my civics and said, Sharon, your water has broke. That you should go home and wait for miscarriage. I cried. I said, God, why will you give me a child and take the child away from me? My parents told me that she just go home, that God will give me another child. I said, no, I'm not going to do that. I remember, yeah, I remember author of fire. Pastor Jerry was saying, carry your, carry your child, carry your, you know, I was like, no, this can't happen to me. 
so I said no doctor I am not going to miscarry rather I'm going to carry this child so I went home with my water with my water has broken I was drinking so much water my mucus was coming out and when I bent down you could see this child under my legs but I was carrying it I couldn't take a shower I was just lying in bed drinking water asking God to show me mercy and keep this child for me this is the only child I have finally contraction came at 22 weeks I was thinking I was gonna lose this child because it wasn't the half of my pregnancy and pregnancy was 40 weeks and I'm still 22 weeks I cried again I said oh please don't show me mercy and leave this child for me please finally this child came and the whole doctors came and said that we need to put our oxygen on her and they were looking for a pipe to put on her throat so they can put her in ventilator and they took my child to the ventilator she stayed for five months I could not touch my child they called me at 2 a.m. during the time for prayers at altar of fire they said I should come and hug my child for the last time that she's gonna die <laughs> I cried again but I remember Pastor Derry just said you have a child in the ventilator that she's not gonna die I see a woman that delivered. You can have a You better. Your child has been in the incubator. Your child is not doing well. Your child is not doing well. If you will not tell this prophecy, you will go home with your child. You will go home with your child. I remember that word. I said, I told my husband, let's go to the hospital. She said, no, wait till we finish the prayers. So we waited. We finished the prayers. And we drove to Chapel Hill to see my child. And they told, and they called the chaplain. The chaplain that prays for people who are going to pass. I said, why would you pray for my daughter, that, for my daughter to pass and go to heaven when she's not yet dead? I cried again. I said, I remember this word Pastor Jerry said. I'm going to keep that word. I cried. They took me to the room and said, Shalom, that's just go and stay there and just relax. Let's see. Her oxygen was going down. Everything was going down. You know what I mean by ACE2 was the saturation was like less than less than 70, so which means she cannot survive. And for you to be able to survive, you have to be on a um, saturation of 98 or 97. And that's when around five o'clock, miracle came. She came back to life. Her saturation came from 72 to 99. And I said, God, if you give, thank you for if you have restored this child to me, I'm going to bring her to the altar of fire. And that's why I changed her name. Her name is Miracle because of she came back to life. She had came back to life. Thank you, Jesus. It is hard for when you're looking for a child for six years. And you got one. And the devil wanted to take the child away from you. It was hard. But finally, she's here. Her name is Miracle. Hey. Oh. Oh. Hi. Child. Whoa. Holy. What a God. My God. Wow. What a God. He's so emotional. Wow, wow, wow. Chai, thank you, Jesus. 20 week old. Have you seen anything like this? Let me start from here. You're a consultant <laughs> pediatrician. <laughs> Have you ever encountered this in all of your years of practice? <laughs> I've not. The only thing I can say I've encountered is uh, somebody can miscarry at 20 weeks. Right. Not, it's not yet the age of viability. Right. Because there's what we call the age of viability. Right. That this fetus has become viable right. and can survive uh -huh. outside. Uh -huh. Not 20 weeks. Well, for those of us in this side of the world, right. it has to be up to 28 weeks. It's 28, 28 weeks. 28 yes, weeks. is the period of viability. Anything before then Anything is a miscarriage. Anything is a miscarriage for wow. us down here. But over there, maybe in the United States, um, they may be able to salvage maybe from um, 24 weeks. Wow. Yes, from 24 so weeks. So even for them over even there, for them, this 22 is a testimony. Is still a testimony. Very big. Even the 24 weeks is a testimony. How many right. of them will survive? Right, right, These right. Figures, if you go to literature, we tell you maybe 1%, hey. 2% of all babies. Hey. Imagine where you have 100 of them, one oh or only my two God. will survive out of 100. Hey. You know, and, that. and it's so, not a coincidence that 
it's an NSPPD baby that beats the that be <laughs> My God. 22 weeks. Hey, wow. Hey, what do you expect to see from a baby at 22 weeks? I know they said the lungs are not well developed. No, the lungs are not. That's the major problem. Ah, look for at that a, picture. Up. Yes, for a baby hey. born at 22 my weeks. My God. You see how the baby is. Oh, my is God. Looking so delicate, so reddish and all that. Oh. Showing, you know, the stage of a... Uh, immaturity oh. that the baby is in. So for this kind of baby, the major problem they have is breeding. Mm. Breeding problem. Mm. Being able to initiate and sustain breeding on their own. Hey. Because there's this substance that we call the surfactant. Right. Surfactant that causes lung to mature. Okay. So it begins to be produced in the lungs of a child, of a fetus. Uh, between 24th and the 28th week. My goodness. So for this one, hey. there may not even be any surfactant My in that 22 week old. Hmm. So you're putting the child on a machine that will hmm. initiate, in fact, hmm. you're breeding for oh, the baby. Oh, Let's oh, put it like oh, that. Oh. The machine is just breeding right. for the baby. Yes. So it's the major problem that they have uh -huh. being able to so you see them even they uh, they are on machine uh -huh. they go into apneic attacks that's cessation of respiration right. off and on they have a lot of some of them can even bleed in the brain right i was you know? i was getting yes. to that yes. is it is it possible would would the child born at this age typically you know have full brain function oh no 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 because right. it's so immature right. as it so some of them may be prone to you know in fact they have immaturity of the brain and can ah. be prone to what we call a intraventricular hemorrhage bleeding inside the brain that wow. can also come with a lot of complication hey. so because that is major problem we have with them some of them that you salvage you can actually salvage them and they are alive but they may eventually come down with poor brain function. Hmm. But what amazes me in this child, because I saw this child, I saw the mother mm -hmm, mm -hmm, in Houston, mm -hmm, mm -hmm, I saw mm -hmm. the mother in the conference, mm -hmm. and I was actually, you know, as a doctor, I was right, curious right, right, to right. know, I was curious to know, uh -huh. okay, so how old is your child? She said the child is a year plus. A year plus. I said, so, Mm. Is she able? What of the function? She right. Function. Everything, everything is, okay. is okay. And I was wow. My God. I was wow. My God. Because that was what I wanted to hear. Right. That right, everything right. is okay. Glory Not just to that God. they were able to salvage. Right. Right. You right. You see what God cannot do. Hey. Does not exist. Hey. Because any hey. medical specialist that you're telling this, the first thing ah. So what is the child able to do? Right. Can the child crawl? Can the child sit without hey. support? Can the But you see the child carrying the head. Active. Carrying the head mm. very. active. Active. Mm, this mm, can only mm. be called. I, I mean, the audacity. The audacity. Always the audacity for me. How can your water, My goodness, you start your water draining like, what, at three months? Mm. At three months. And you decide to lie down. You're to fighting. Dying. You decide You're to fighting. lie down. Mucus is pouring. pouring. Is you're pouring. lying down. You're, you're lying telling down. you go to the hospital no, and No, you're drinking get, water to You're drinking it. water to Oh, Shali Adataya. I've not seen this hey. type before. This you know, kind of faith. You know, this is this is what this is what NSPPD has done to our consciousness. I'm telling you. In time past, we just used to accept whatever, whatever. the enemy would wish to us. Whatever. We were sold a lie and we would say it's God's will. It's God's, it's God's will. will. It's God's will. Yes. It's God that yes. gives. It's and God you just that takes. You yeah, take, you it, take like it like that. that. But now NSPPDs are asking say, questions. No. They're mm. evaluating whatever They're saying condition. not on my word. They're saying not on my God word. can reverse this. Yes. I mean. Oh my goodness. Hey. What a testimony. This is, this is amazing. And then we have the other, you know, testimony. I don't even know brain dead in a coma. What is going on with that <laughs> young man over there? Honestly, looking at that young man, you know, mm. looking at that young man. Um, and according to the testimony uh -huh. that the child was in coma. Yes. You know, the child was in coma. Um, from what I'm seeing, I'm seeing a child that uh, came out of coma but was in a vegetative state. Ha. Let me put it that way. Oh my God, look yes. at that. So that's what we call hmm. post-coma unresponsiveness. Mm. So the child, yes, may have been out of coma, but in a, like the type we say, this is a vegetable. Oh. Do you understand? The oh. child is not able to oh. respond to the surrounding, to the environment. Doesn't, it's not even aware ah. of what is happening. Hey. The only reason is that the, the child is breathing and the heart is functioning ah. because the part of the brain that was affected 
does not control respiration uh -huh. and does not control um, the, the heart rhythm. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. So what we call, because the brain is divided into three parts. Right. You have the forebrain, mm. you have the midbrain, and you have the, 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 the hind brain. Mm. So if it has to do with the midbrain, this child will not be able to be moved around because respiration will be affected, mm. the heart rhythm will be affected. Mm. So I want to believe that what was affected in this child was the forebrain. And that was why the child was unconscious for a long time. Hey. And then now recovering was in a vegetative state. Mm. And you know, that forebrain is what controls voluntary movements, mm. being able to move your hand, mm. being able to reach out, to mm. hold the hand of the mother, that is voluntary movement. I mean, look at the video. Look at it. Look oh at it. my God. You know, the child. Holding, can, grasping. Can you imagine? Oh Just grasping God. and holding the mother. Thank you, Which Lord. means hey. that this baby is aware hey. that the mother has put his finger Glory. inside his palm. So, he's aware. So, something, a miracle was actually taking place here. Mm. From what mm. I am seeing, mm. a miracle was taking place because the child that the brain, forebrain is affected, is not aware of, the eyes may open, mm. but will not be aware of what is happening in their hey. mind. But the child that is reaching out to grab the mother's finger mm. will tell you that this child is aware ha. that the mother's finger was in the palm yes. and also trying to make a voluntary movement to Glory. grasp on Glory. So, ah. in as much as the child may not have a full recovery now, right. we don't even know what has happened between right. that Saturday right. and, and this, right now. You know, and right mm, now. What has happened within these few days, we don't even know. It's possible God has hey. given you full recovery. Hey. But whatever we are seeing now is a miracle. Glory. Because they say this child has not been Never able done it to before. do this Never before. done it before. Oh Never my done God. It Never done it before. And on the ground of the conference, oh on the ground my of the God. conference, on that prayer ground, in that atmosphere of power, power. hey, Kaliada Shata, thank you, Lord. Child. I mean, this testimony had us all in awe. Oh. I Just mean, I awe. was, I was mortified. Hey, I was mortified. God, I mean, God, this these, can only be called. These are the what days of His power. This child has never done before. Glory. See the way He's Glory. grasping the mother's Glory. Glory. My God, you know, and and there's a place to go to when doctors say it's over. It's over. And they send you out of the hospital. That they the send child you cannot to the recover. Hospice. They say you can recover. We've done the much We've we done, can. Yes, you know, yes, this is yes, just yes. go somewhere and yes. nurse him till he goes yes, away. Yes. But you know. You have somewhere, we have a place we can run, mm. you know. And here she is again, the audacity to bring, so bring a, a, a vegetable in quotes, in quotes mm -hmm. to, the to, the, to the prayer ground. And he, we saw and God come through instantly. instantly. My God, Child. what a profound testimony, testimony this is. Wow, what a God, God is amazing, cannot really. do, does not, does exist. not exist. Does not exist. Phenomenal, phenomenal. Our fifth and final testimony today is just a compilation of all of the testimonies and the outbreak of miracles that we saw in Houston, Texas at the just concluded NSPBD prayer conference. Click on the share button if you are yet to. We'll be right back. Do what you've never done before. Do what you've never done before. If you're in a wheelchair, rise from that wheelchair. Akoroshana and Leviada. Miracles. Miracles are already happening. Check yourself. Check yourself. She could not lift her knees like this. Look at her right now. Look at her lifting totally her knees. Totally disappeared. Totally disappeared. Can you raise it higher? 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 Celebrate Jesus. She can walk. This is our wheelchair. Mama, can you walk? Can yeah. you walk? Yes, Mama. Can you take some steps? Can you take some steps? Can you take some steps? Kapala with a walking stick but now he's been walking for a while since you started without the walking stick yes, without the walking went. stick without the walking stick are you quiet are you quiet can you walk can you walk can you walk, can you walk? let the let copata and as we are you quiet are you quiet she was diagnosed of COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary airway disease. From there, she stopped working. She was
was on oxygen and she came on a wheelchair this evening but just at the word of God she stood up by herself and she began to walk Wow. 
This lady has had ringing in her ears, ringing, continuous ringing in her ears. Like the doctor that... For 18 years, she actually referred to that testimony. And she said she connected to that testimony and now the ringing is completely stopped. No ringing in her ears anymore. She's had it 18 For years. For 18, 18 years. 18 years. 18 years. Has completely 18 years. years. NSPPDS shall fire. This young man, he's been in coma August the 4th. And the doctor told the mother, take him home, that there is nothing we can do. He's complete, they told her he's complete brain dead. He will not be able to recuperate. And the mom said he has never done this before. He has opened his eyes. Hey. And he began to, he's moving his hands. Hey. She put her finger, she put hey. her finger, and he held hey. her finger tight. He hey. her no, 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 no. Hey. You did it. Jesus. Jesus, Jesus, as your amen will thunder, as your amen will thunder, in September, there will be many miracles in every area of your life. Receive it right now, receive it. Wow. Ooh. Oh my God. Thank you, Lord. This is just a few of what happened because my we, goodness. So there's many no way. Testimonies there's no way. Were not captured. There's no way all could have been captured. No, no, no. no, no, no I no. mean, even when we left, there were yes. still so many people in line in to testify. In line to testify. And yes. you know, there are people also testifying online, people On, watching online. online yes. And even the days following the conference, yes. testimonies are testimonies. still pouring exactly. in. Exactly. And you know, the truth of the matter is that when we have conferences such as this, Testimonies that we see are things that we can verify on the spot. Exactly. Like someone that couldn't walk exactly. is now standing. But there are other things, the other that, things God that God has walked behind the behind, scene that, that we can't get to see exactly. instantly we until the days progress. progress. So this is just profound and amazing. I mean, such a charged atmosphere of power. 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 That is a revival of divine of, healing. Yes, 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 yes. yes that's yes. what we just saw. Long-standing affliction. Long, seven years, 13 seven years, years, 11 years. Rolled, rolled away instantly, instantly on, on the spot. You know, and quite sincerely, I'm reminded of that scripture that says the kingdom of you know God is not in word, but, but in, in demonstration power. of demonstration of power. Kingdom power. And, and you know, we've, we've we've talked and we've talked and we've talked, and power does not belong to the shrines no, and the babalawos no. of this world. It belongs to it God. Belongs to and God. when we sit in conferences such as this, and we see such great power moves, I mean, hope is there within us just hope as believers hope yes. is restored for you to believe God for right, the impossible right. to believe God for the impossible to believe God the word be made very clear yes, Bible yes, says yes. he has borne our infirmity ah, ah, carried ah. our diseases right right so right. I mean when you are praying you know this is the word of God yes that's I must insist that uh -huh. this will happen uh -huh. after watching this testimony why wouldn't your faith right 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 up? right you'd why ask yourself why would you keep hoping on right, God right 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 why right. would you even believe when they tell you there is no cure to yes, this yes 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 Yes, there is yes. no solution. Ah. You cannot recover yes, from this. Yes, 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 After yes. seeing that, our medical right, reports were right, changing. Right, right, know. right, right, so, right. Glory oh, to oh God. My God. You know, God has continued to silence the naysayers. the naysayers. Back in the day when we would do testimonies and would have um, Papa read them out, people would say, why is ah, he reading? Why? Who are the people Who testifying? Are the people testifying? We started doing videos and we had people saying, oh, they yeah. were sponsored. Yeah. Now we are gathering. 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 There. You can and you're verify it now. right there. And your you neighbor can... was wheeled in. in. And, you know, I'm some reminded. Some people, I, I even heard some people say, I saw this woman uh -huh. being wheeled in. Yes. You know, sometimes you're asking them, what did God do for you? They're looking at you because right. they're so overwhelmed. Right. So their neighbors hey. in the conference were the people saying, ah. we saw when she was wielding. Right. We right. saw when right. she was right. making right. an attempt to stand. To stand up. Ah. You know, and I'm just reminded of, you know, just <laughs> being in the hall that day and you'll just hear noise breaking out breaking. at one end on the other end. You know, that you hear noise it. and it's like all the neighbors, everyone oh, sitting around, they're witnesses. They, some of them were running out God. with their neighbors. Uh -huh. Their neighbors were coming to tell us. We saw them. Yes. We saw when this man was. Right, know, right, I, right. I, I had a lot of, a couple of them that ran out with their neighbors. Yes, yes, you know, yes, yes. And yes. they were the ones giving the testimony ah, by themselves. Glory to God. I mean, hey, it's amazing. You know, I'm also reminded of this scripture that says, you know, after Jesus resurrected, he showed himself by many, many to be alive. By many infallible proofs. proofs. So, you know, this is 
is beyond oh. argument. The, the, the proof is overwhelming. 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 That overwhelming. what our God cannot, cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. And I mean confidence is even restored in God to be all powerful. Why not chase? God, God is can able. Be trusted. He can be trusted. He can be trusted. Power still belongs to him. Kai. My goodness, these are just... Kai. This, With this, this, you don't even uh, personal on. We don't need to really preach too much message. No more. No, no we more. don't need to. Mm -mm. Ah, mm -mm. You are coming to church with your own affliction. You are hearing testimony of what God has done for mm. your neighbor. Mm. You just believe God. Mm. You don't need to. Mm. I mean, this mm. is just the evidence mm. that God, God cannot do something like this. Mm. You believe God for your own, and it hey. becomes your own prophecy. Becomes your own kairos. Right, right, becomes right. the time for you to get your own encounter. Yes, yes, just yes. Just hearing another person. Yes, testimony. we saw that lady testify of the lady with um, the sound ringing in her ears. Yes. She had an instant healing. She watched, she connected, she, yeah, exactly. and got her yes. healing after 18 after years. After 18 years. My God. And then somebody... Hey, in the conference, you right, heard right, right, right. Also, right, right. Got, listening to somebody that right, testified right, in the right. conference, in the conference, the ring continuous ringing right, in her own ears. Right, ah, testimony, betting testimony, betting another testimony, testimony betting another Instantly. testimony, like three hey. testimonies being betted. Grandmother, oh my mother, God. grandchild <laughs> testimony. <laughs> <laughs> wow, what a God, God cannot awesome. do does, does not, not exist. exist so. I mean, these are the days of the strange act of Acts. God. Can someone just type and declare? I am a partaker of the strange acts of God. I mean, you cannot be left out. These are the days of his power. And yes, indeed, you are next in line to testify. Wow. What a profound show we have had today, Pastor Chica. <laughs> wow. NSVPD America, we cannot wait to be back next year. <laughs> ah, yeah, yeah. Uh, have you started packing your bags? Ah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> God is set to do the yes, unimaginable. So. Glory to God. Our first testimony today, we saw a Graves disease healing. Second testimony today, we saw laryngeal paralysis rolled oh, away. Way. Third testimony, brain dead, unresponsive child restored on the prayer ground. Our fourth testimony, six years barrenness broken, birth complications, born at, at 22, 22, weeks. 22 weeks. Birth complications reversed, and I mean her baby made a full recovery. What our God cannot do does, does not, not exist. exist. And of course, our fifth testimony was a compilation of the outbreak of wonders. I mean, pictures don't speak loud enough. Ah, no, 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 they no, can't no. even capture, they can capture what God did. Be it the crowd, be it the miracles, be it the testimonies. Pictures don't do don't. justice at all. Wow, glory to God for a successful conference. Yes. Pastor Dr. Chika, <laughs> thank you so much for your time. Thank you so it's, much for the my insight honor. you brought on board. We thank God. Do you have anything to say to our viewers before we go? Well, um, I can only say... God can be trusted. Right. God can be trusted. Uh -huh. And there is no end to what God right. can do. There right. is no right. end. Right. No matter what the problem is, just keep trusting. Uh -huh. If medical science can say there is no recovery to this, take him home uh -huh. or take him to the hospice right. because he cannot recuperate. And right there you're seeing a hey, child that the you, power Lord. of God broke out thank on you, and Lord. you're seeing recovery, you know, taking place. What God cannot do, does not, no matter what the problem is, right. your own is a, right. a done deal. Right. Just keep on believing. Uh -huh. But I must say, God, thank you for what you did in America. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for thank the you, people Lord. you gathered in America. Thank you, Lord. I mean, what my eyes have never seen before, uh -huh. my uh -huh. eyes I saw glory this time around. Glory, glory. We just thank God for glory. the amazing works hey. that God is doing. Thank you, Lord. And He's doing it quick, mm, quick mm, work mm, in righteousness. Mm, mm. We just glory. give Him all the glory. Glory. Keep believing and keep trusting. Uh -huh. Your own miracle will surely land. Amen. 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 I mean, having seen and heard all of these wonders. Where would you rather be on a Monday morning if not NSPPD? This is not the time to relax. This is the time to push and be more active and fervent like never before. These are the days of his strange acts and you are a partaker in Jesus' name. Join us on NSPPD, 7 a.m. Nigerian time, Monday through till Friday. Come and join us and
and do not come back alone. The Strange Acts of God continues 7 a.m. Nigerian time, same time. Come back and join us. Grab a friend to join us. As Remember that your testimony is another man's prophecy. So do not keep back your testimony to yourself, but do well to send in your testimony to the testimony number written at the bottom of the screen and be a blessing to someone else. Are you following us across all of our social media handles? Go ahead and search for Streams of Joy International. Like and subscribe so that you never miss a show, you never miss a service, and you're up to date with all that God is doing in this house in the now. Have you clicked on the share button? Go ahead and click on the share button. The world needs to know. Wow. The world needs to know that all power belongs to God and God is still in the business of doing the impossible. That brings us to the end of our show today and of course to the end of our review session on the NSPPD USA conference. Wow. Such a joy we've had such a blessing to just sit down in this atmosphere and bask in the wonders of God. Once again, thank you so much, Pastor Dr. Chika Ibeneme, for your time, for the insight, for the value you brought on board. Thank you so much. Thank we look you. forward to having you my again pleasure. and again. <laughs> I mean, so how could we wrap up this show without saying a big, big thank you to our lead pastor, our papa, our father, Pastor Jerry Eze, for the innumerable sacrifice Sacrifices, innumerable sacrifices. Thank you for, you know, spending and being spent, you know, for the work of God and for the kingdom. Thank you also for just the platform and the opportunity to be part of the NSPPD USA conference. Thank you, sir. Remain Thank ever you, blessed, sir. sir. We love you, sir. Thank you so much to our viewers for watching today. Thank you for all of the love and all of the wonderful moments we had last week, Saturday. Till next week, Saturday, remember what our God can cannot do, does, does not, not exist. exist.